meeting? Anything special? Yeah, I'm going to talk about what we're going to do with all these buckets that are parking on Greencroft and Van Boulevard. It's so sick of these people the way they drive around. Yeah. Well, well, I'm just, just talking about the trucks with the cars on them. Yeah, well, I know you guys do have a problem with that. And what is somebody's what, parking what do you do with that? Yeah, it's crazy. That's, that's my main question. Because I can see them parking on Flora and Greencroft. Southwick, I could see him parking on that. I mean, are we going to ticket him right away, or are we going to give him a warning and then ticket him? What are we going to do with this? Because how long is this going to last on Broadway? It's been going on for a while, though. Yes. Yeah, so they might as well just start ticketing him. They're probably going to keep on doing it. <laughs> Some of them don't speak very good English, and I had a hard time communicating. send you the copies of them because I've got them electronically. Oh, do you really? Yeah, I scanned them. Oh, that's right, you did. Yeah, so I'll, I'll, I'll email them to you. That was amazing that you asked about that. And yeah. I just happened to have them in my car. Well, it's kind of funny. I, I've been finding old pictures of him. Like, I just found one the other day from 1905. Oh, my God, no way. And it was out of a newspaper. And when they scanned Dressed up, looks like he's having a blast with all his buddies. <laughs> Ooh, now, they're probably all New Orleans, they probably all are. Right? <laughs> Wait, let me get that uh, bourbon straight down there. Yeah. Oh, that's hilarious. Yeah. And then I got pictures of him riding his uh, sulky down Broadway. Dude, come on, really? Yeah, that's he used to practice on Broadway. It was a dirt road, right by the square. Oh, that's funny. Yeah. Well, I, yeah, I guess it was a dirt road back then. Yeah. Oh, that's hilarious. Yeah, it was way lower than it is right now, too. So. <laughs> that's, that's funny. Well, hey, good luck with your parking situation. I got to get back here and film this meeting. Why don't we start to do uh, council meetings at 7 o'clock? I thought they were supposed to be started in September. September. They oh. didn't want to do it in, you know, because there's only going to be one meeting per month. Actually, there's going to be this meeting, and then there's a meeting the last week. Then we don't have any in July. Right. And then there's one in August. What's happening, Bob? Hey, you know, you might have me out of it. No, no, no. I would just test driving.
Council meeting of June 5th, 2023. If you would please stand and join me in the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. <coughs> Service Commission of Bedford to amend Rule 5 entitled Examinations, Promotions, and Probation Types, uh, Section 5.2 entitled Types and Methods of Examination, a copy of which will be attached to the minutes and incorporated by reference herein. Can we get a motion to do amend and a motion to approve? Or you can do them separately, whatever you like in that. A motion by Janudis, second by Sphinx. Call the roll, please. Janudis? Yes. Fluharty? Yes. Smith? Yes. Asbury? Yes. Saunders? Yes. Sphinx? Yes. Kochi? Yes. Thank you. All right. The Council, you have the minutes of the work session of May 1st, 2023. Any corrections to that? Seeing none, can I have a motion for acceptance by Asbury, second by Smith? Call the roll, please. Janudis? Yes. Fluharty? Yes. Smith? Yes. Asbury? Yes. Saunders? Yes. Kochi? Yes. Sphinx? Yes. Uh, and you have the minutes of the regular meeting of May 1st, 2023. Any corrections to that? Seeing none, motion for acceptance by Sphinx, second by Janudis. Call the roll, please. Session of May 15th, 2023. Any corrections to that? <clears throat> Seeing none, a motion for acceptance by Smith, second by Asbury. Call the roll, please. Janudis? Yes. Fluharty? Yes. Smith? Yes. Asbury? Yes. Saunders? Yes. Kochi? Yes. Sphinx? Yes. And you have the minutes of the regular meeting of May 15th, 2023. Any corrections? 
to that one. Again, seeing none, motion for acceptance by Janudis, second by Fluharty. Call the roll, please. Janudis? Yes. Fluharty? Yes. Smith? Yes. Asbury? Yes. Saunders? Yes. Kochi? Yes. Spinks? Yes. We have no presentation tonight. Uh, under old business, ordinance number 41-23. Authorizing the city manager to sign an agreement of gift by and between the City of Bedford Land Reutilization Program and the Board of Park Commissioners of the Cleveland Metropolitan Park District and declaring an emergency. And can I have a motion for suspension? By Saunders, second by Asbury. Call the roll, please. Janudis? Yes. Fluharty? Yes. Smith? Yes. Asbury? Yes. Saunders? Yes. Kochi? Yes. Spinks? Yes. Motion for third and final. By Fluharty, second by Spinks. Um, Mike? Thank you, Mayor. This agreement of gift is, in essence, um, deeding the approximately six acres of land adjacent to Viaduct Park that the city currently owns to the Cleveland Metro Parks. We've been discussing this with the Parks District for well over a year, ultimately coming to this agreement. Um, the Parks, the Metro Parks, will plan to develop that property, expand Viaduct Park. In the initial 12 to 24 months, they'll be removing the invasive species, new plantings, extending the trails. Ultimately, they will be constructing a what they are referring to as a Four Seasons facility um, that could be rented by the public uh, 12 months a year. Bedford will have access to that facility 24 times in a calendar year um, for events, for programming through Parks and Recreation, um, ward meetings, State of the City. Um, we will have access to it. I think it'll be a, um, a much uh, another asset to the community, especially as it uh, is it along Tinker's Creek. Um, there is a clawback to protect the city. Um, the parks, they do have until 2030 to construct that facility. They'll be looking to acquire grant dollars to do so. In the event that that is not constructed in that time frame, uh, they will pay Bedford the current value of that land, which is approximately $311,000. Um, also outlined in that agreement is the Cleveland Metro Parks fully supporting um, the city's efforts to extend the, what we refer to as the connector project, and that is the pedestrian bike and hike trail from the commons through Viaduct Park with the construction of a bridge over Tinker's Creek connecting to Egbert Road uh, Trail, and the parks are uh, in um, agreement to supporting our project moving forward. Yeah, that should be really nice. Clerk, call the roll, please. Janudis? Yes. Bloomhardy? Yes. Smith? Yes. Asbury? Yes. Saunders? Yes. Kochi? Yes. Sphinx? Yes. Resolution number 2600-23. Approving and accepting the proposed for the 2023 tax budget for the year January 1st, 2024 to December 31st, 2024, and declaring an emergency. Okay. We have a motion to a second reading by Saunders, second by Smith. Call the roll, please. Janudis? Yes. Fluharty? Yes. Smith? Yes. Gasbury? Yes. Saunders? Yes. Kochi? Yes. Sphinx? Yes. Resolution number 2601-23. A resolution requesting the county auditor, auditor to advance taxes from the proceeds of tax levies for the year 2023 collected uh, for, for 20 is it 2022 or collected in 2024 pursuant to section 321.34 of the Ohio Revised Code of the State of Ohio and declaring an emergency. So I believe it's the year 2023 collected in 2024, correct? Was it 2022?
closing in 2024? It's 2023 closing in 2024. 2023. Well, the, the sheet I have says 2022. I'm sorry. Yeah. Um, second reading. We have a motion for second reading. Second by Flu Hardy. Call the roll, please. Tanugas? Yes. Flu Hardy? Yes. Smith? Yes. Hansbury? Yes. Saunders? Yes. Kochi? Yes. Spinks? Yes. Uh, resol <coughs> excuse me. Resolution number 2602-23. Declaring that the necessity to improve certain streets in the city of Bedford by lighting the same and declaring an emergency. We should put that on second reading also. And a motion for such by Saunders, second by Asbury. Call the roll, please. Tanudis? Yes. Blue Hardy? Yes. Smith? Yes. Asbury? Yes. Saunders? Yes. Kochi? Yes. Spinks? Yes. And ordinance number 44 23. An ordinance determined to proceed with the improvement of certain streets in the city of Bedford, Ohio, by lighting the same and declaring an emergency. Again, we wish to do that on second reading. Can I have a motion for such by Janudis, second by Spinks? Call the roll, please. Janudis? Yes. Blue Hardy? Yes. Smith? Yes. Asbury? Yes. Saunders? Yes. Kochi? Yes. Spinks? Yes. And ordinance number 45-23. In ordinance uh, levying special assessments for the improvement of the street and public places in the city of Bedford by lighting of the same in accordance with resolution number 26023 and ordinance number 4423, the two ordinances they just in re the resolution they just discussed previously. I have a motion for second reading by Saunders, second by Smith. A roll, please. Genutis? Yes. Flu Hardy? Yes. Smith? Yes. Asbury? Yes. Saunders? Yes. Kochi? Yes. Spinks? Yes. Resolution number 2603-23. Declaring the necessity of assessing the expense of garbage refuse collection, recycling, and disposal within the City of Bedford and certifying to the County Auditor the cost due to the City of Bedford for garbage and rubbish collections and declaring an emergency. So we'd like to put that on second reading. Can I have a motion for such by Janudis, second by Spinks? Uh, call the roll, please. Janudis? Yes. Blue Hardy? Yes. Smith? Yes. Asbury? Yes. Saunders? Yes. Kochi? Yes. Spinks? Yes. Reports, Mr. City Manager. Thank you, Mayor. <clears throat> a few items. Uh, First, I just want to uh, provide a quick update regarding the Broadway project. That project is scheduled to begin on the 12th, next Monday. Uh, for those of you that aren't aware, it is broken down into five sections, uh, five phases. Phase one will begin at the Maple Heights Bedford border and will move towards uh, the five points intersection. Traffic will be maintained. There'll be no parking along the roadway on Broadway during, uh, during that time, and those signs are posted. Um, they will then, the contractor, Shelley, will then move from phase two is five points to North Park, and then subsequently down towards, uh, with the last phase being, um, I believe, near Gilbert, up to the Forbes intersection. Uh, and then the very, I should say that's the, Fourth phase. The fifth phase is a complete overlay, um, and that will not take that long. I think um, just to talk about right now, phase one estimated is going to be 60 days, um, and we'll keep everyone updated as we receive information. It'll either be on our, the city's website or posted um, on social media. The um, one thing, and it, it seems to happen. Um, I saw a number of municipalities in Northeast Ohio post this over the last few weeks, and, and we've been okay. Um, but the, uh, communities are seeing a rash of car break-ins. Um, not Bedford, um, but um, it is happening. Um, this is, you know, I refer to it as it's a 
the crime of opportunity. This is kind of just a friendly reminder. Don't leave valuables in your car. Don't leave your automobiles unlocked. Um, you know, uh, someone walking by and sees you got a brand new golf driver in your back seat, um, that's an opportunity, right? Um, and we've been fortunate enough so far. Uh, I know some communities, I won't name them, have been posting um, that it's happening a lot in their neighborhoods. So this is just a friendly reminder. Um, bring your valuables inside. Um, don't forget to lock up uh, your cars. Uh, we will be um, conducting a bid opening this Friday for the Lincoln Waterline Project. Um, and then ultimately we'll be, uh, after review of those bids, we'll be making a recommendation to City Council at the June 25th Council meeting um, to hopefully move forward with that project and have that taking place. I know it's been a challenge uh, in that part of town with Harriman um, getting uh, torn up and, and Washington Court, but these are much needed improvements and um, will definitely be uh, worthwhile. That Harriman waterline um, that's being replaced was from 1915. So it served its purpose. It's time to replace it. Uh, Friendly reminder that starting this week, Wednesday, is the start of the summer concert series. So there'll be a concert in the park every couple weeks. Um, those uh, concerts and those performers, uh, those are listed on the city's website, uh, as well as you can follow the Parks and Recreation's social media site as well. Um, and that is this Wednesday is the first one from 7 to 9. Lastly, I just want to... Uh, I want to commend the fire department and uh, our service department. Um, last week we were chasing a gas leak, gasoline leak, um, not natural gas. And it was identified in our sewer system. Um, you know, there were some residents that called, some businesses that called. And, and those two departments did an outstanding job. Obviously it was something that we were concerned about, ultimately notifying the, the other agencies that came out. Uh, there was a leak um, that was located at one of the pumps, um, not the holding tank, but actually one of the pumps at the Sunoco gas station at um, Northfield and Taft, um, and that's why that is currently closed. Um, and obviously there's steps that are gonna be needed to, to, to be taken there, but um, kudos to those two departments. I know some of those staff members were out after hours. Um, the one night they were out till 8, 8 p.m. Um, talking to some residents and, and, and trying to locate where it was actually coming from. Um, so I just want to acknowledge those efforts. End of report. Thank you. Mr. Law Director. Um, no, no report tonight. To, to wish everybody have a, a happy Juneteenth holiday. I don't think we'll see you again until after then. So have a, good, uh, have a good time and participate in the celebration. Thank you. Thank you. Madam Finance Director. Thank you, Mary. I have no uh, report tonight. Thank you. Okay. Well, before we get to council, um, two things I want to mention, and Mike alluded to it. Our next council meeting will be June 25th. We will not be having one in July. The real between the Fourth of July holiday and huh? June 26th. Oh, I'm sorry. But I heard 25th. 26th. June 26th will be our next meeting. So. This there will not be one in July, and then the following one will be August 7th. And in September, we get back on track to uh, two meetings in a month. And also, I uh, want to announce congratulations to a good friend, Vic Fluharty, who has been elected to the Cleveland Softball Hall of Fame. Congratulations. insight uh, on your comments and just want to congratulate. It's a good thing. Thank you. Getting a lot of graphs afterwards. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. How much? Yeah. Just wanted to add one thing and I, I, I wanted to give uh, I want to congratulate Jennifer and our entire finance department. Um, they last week we they received notification from the GFOA that they did receive um, their certificate of excellence in their financial reporting. So, well done. Thank you. I had that. Oh, I missed it. No, no, that's okay. That's okay. Let's start.
start with Mr. Janudis. Oh, thank you. Well, I have no report. I hope everyone's enjoying the wonders of nature. And uh, it's a good time of year. Good time to wear shorts. <laughs> thank you. Hall of Famer uh, Fluhart. Uh, <laughs> Do we have to call you that now? Uh, no. Yeah, it'll be October. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I got, uh, got the phone call. Well, actually, I was there when they did the voting, so it was a great honor. It's like 200, I think there's 220 guys in there already, but uh, it started in 1985, so all the superstars got in first. And, uh, heck, you know who's in there? Yeah, I got Massetti, who was uh, the uh, uh, H.R. Stone. Yep. Yeah. He was the first original one in that thing, because uh, he was one known as probably the best softball player ever come out of, well, shouldn't say that Mike Maseko is now, but at the time he was. But uh, that's who actually nominated me was Mike Maseko. So when Mike Maseko nominates you, they stand up and listen. So that's, that was an honor right there alone. So, and I played with Mike, Mike, Mike was the best. But uh, anyhow, yeah, it's, I'm looking forward to it. It's something that, uh, you know, it's nothing big to other people, but if you played the sport, it's, it was, it's an honor, so. A lot, of, a lot of good softball back in the day. But, uh, and I, I want everybody to also, about this, I know she's going to announce the Strawberry Festival, but I'll see everybody down there uh, this weekend. And uh, Mike, uh, tell those guys that did chase that gasoline, they did a heck of a job bottling that up real fast, because that was, that's a scary thing. And uh, they did a heck of a job. Uh, so, in the report, thank you. Thank you. Mr. Smith. Good evening. We really don't have a, a report, but just wanted to remind you guys that uh, Juneteenth will be um, held at the stadium. And that will be June 19th. I'd just like to um, ask that everyone come out, enjoy the food, fun, the history of the city. Um, far too often we don't, especially our children, don't uh, get a chance to see where they live and what the history is of this city. And this being one of the stops on the Underground Railroad, I think it, that's a significant uh, part of uh, the history of Bedford. So everyone just come out, you might learn something <clears throat> in the report. Thank you. Mr. Asbury. Thank you, Mayor. Um, first, I'd like to thank everybody that, uh, that was involved in the Memorial Day Parade planning and execution. Uh, it, was a, it was a solemn event, but it was a very, it was a great event. Um, to the parade committee, the service department, all the high school volunteers that placed pla uh, flags on the graves, uh, the auxiliary officers that blocked the street so we didn't get hit. Um, it, it, it was it was a it was a good event. Um, uh, we had two F-16s fly over. I forgot about that. that Perfect awesome. timing too. It was uh, it, that was kind of neat. I hope we got a better video than just the one the lady that was in the crowd. Hopefully. Um, Thanks also to uh, Bedford Firefighter Medics, uh, Stephanie Balachko and Joe Cizek. Uh They gave the, uh, the training over the weekend, Saturday at Ellenwood. Um, it was only a hands-on training and a little bit of AED. I had taken this training several years ago, but it, it's funny how you forget things. I mean, it sounds kind of simple, you know, it's just, if you have a chance, get a hold of our firefighters and they will set something up for you, whether it's a business, uh, if you have a family that you can get together with a decent amount of people, I believe they said the two of them can take up to 16 at a time for class. Uh, and they do offer the certified uh, CPR and AED course. This one was not certified, it was just a hands-only thing. Um, but they do offer the certified course, which is free, but I believe they said you have to pay $17 for the card, the certification card from the American Heart Association. So if anybody's interested, please get a hold of our firefighters. They do a fantastic job. Um, chipper service is this week, so if you hadn't, didn't get on the list, call for July. The week uh, starts July 3rd, it'll probably be a short week because of the 4th. <coughs> it runs through the week, make sure you call the service department and get on the list. Uh, once again, the pool is scheduled to tentatively open on June 20th. I know a lot of people are, that kids are getting out of school, they're getting kind of anxious, they want to go cool off tentatively uh, on Tuesday, June 20th for that. And uh, looks like about it. 
Thank you, Town Report. Thank you. Mr. Saunders. Uh, got a question for Mike, actually, too. Uh, are we going to post Washington no parking during the Broadway construction? Because it has, it will have increased traffic significantly because everybody's going to try to cut around. I think uh, that would be a good idea to do because it will back things up all over the place. And tempers these days seem to run very short. So uh, if we nip it now, uh, it would help. And then the other the question I have too is, uh, the, are we going to put at least a few no parking signs up on the dead end stretch of Logan where the water main, temporary water main is? Because not only does Kimball have a hard time, because somebody always parks right there on the corner, but uh, so does your delivery trucks and with all the holes that were cut to put in the valves in order to shut off and turn on for the Ennis water main project, <coughs> having cars parked in that first big stretch on the dead end stretch of Logan virtually shuts the street down at times. So if we could, we could look into that, uh, it would be much appreciated. And then uh, my big announcement is uh, I will not be running for re-election in November. So I, was, I figured today was a good day to make that announcement because it gives anyone who wants to run two months to get their petitions together and signed and filed so that they can run for the election. Uh, with the diagnosis of stenosis in the spine, which is what's causing the Balance issue, apparently, it wasn't the stroke. That I recovered from. But uh, the stenosis, I'm going to be going through treatments for the next couple months on that, too. So I'm not going to have time to, one, run for election. So, and if it, by chance it doesn't work, I feel that I, I wouldn't be able to do the job the full capability that someone else might be able to do because getting around is limited, though I do get around pretty good to some degree. So I wanted to make that announcement that I will not be running for re-election. I told everybody at the beginning of the year I would let everybody know in, in June, and it is now June. <coughs> so this will be my last year on council. 26 years is a good run, so uh, I wish whoever uh, gets the replacement or runs for election a lot of luck. Uh, this is a well, much more trying job than some people think. Uh, you get a lot of phone calls, you get a lot of concerns, you have to iron out disputes. And you have to know something about public works in order to be able to make sure things are going in the right direction. And I think that's where I benefited the most was the public works end because I've been doing that for 40 years. So uh, I did want to make that announcement tonight that I will not be seeking re-election. Thank you. Not quite what you say, but we got time to talk about it. A long run to go yet before we, yeah. we step down. Yeah. Mrs. Spinks. It's hard to talk that one. <laughs> I know. I got a while before I have to run again, and I will be running again. Um, Strawberry Festival coming up this weekend starts Friday night at 6 o'clock, so that's June 9th. A little bit of confusion with our sign that's going to be going up. We had a new sign made, and it says second weekend in June, and people are going, when is the strawberry? It's this weekend. It's the second weekend in June. So the dates are June 9th, 10th, and 11th, um, 6 to 10 on uh, Friday, noon to 10 on Saturday, and noon to 7 p.m. on Sunday. Car show will be in the back parking lot behind the train depot um, Saturday. There will be, they will be 
taking up the car show starts at 4 o'clock. The cars start coming in early morning, so that back parking lot um, will be closed. Um, there'll be plenty of parking. We will be having a shuttle, thank you to the city, from down at the Glens. And um, so if you, it's not that far of a walk, but there will be a shuttle pickup every couple of minutes and stuff the down at the Glen. So there will be parking there. Um, we're not blocking off downtown, so there's still going to be plenty of parking downtown. Hopefully that will give uh, the businesses will be happy about that. They have been the ones that I've talked to. Um, the Broadway will not be closed. The car show will be back there Saturday only. Um, the awards are given for best of show in People's Choice at 7.30. Museum will be opened up the whole time. A lot of new stuff going on there. Um, there will be three local artists uh, set up in the museum as well with our new display of Bedford Fire Department. Um, uh, the police went up there for a alarm that went off and uh, um, I believe it was um, one of our uh, lady policemen um, uh, asked where was the fire department display going to be and we said well we need to work on that because we don't have we have all the fire department we don't have any number of so Mike you might tell Chief he needs to get us some stuff so we can have a uh, display of the police department up at the historical society um, Dunham House will also um, be open um, I spent from last Tuesday to last Saturday cleaning up the Sedline Gardens. Boy, was that a job. <laughs> that was, I was very dirty, real scratched up, but uh, it uh, looks really nice now. And so people will be able to go back there and see what's going on and see how beautiful that little park is. Um, so make sure you get down there. There will be bands starting Saturday night, uh, I mean Friday night from 7 to 10. It's back 9 par 4. There are lists of this throughout town on our website at the doors both in the schedule of the bands there. Bands all day Saturday um, and all day Sunday. And of course ice cream, strawberry and all kind of stuff. Tomorrow night, an exciting night. It's Bedford High School Class of 2023 will walk across the stage to get their diplomas tomorrow night. Um, I tell you what, we have some amazing kids up there. And out of the class, I believe it's 200, I can't remember what the number was, I've heard numbers all week and stuff, that so many kids that want to come back here, they're going all over the place to come back here, their dreams are to come back here to Bedford and teach. That's pretty... That's pretty amazing, and uh, that just warms my heart that they want to do that and come back and give back to the city where they've gone through school, some of them right from kindergarten on up. Um, with that, there is a young lady, and most of y'all up here probably know who she is. Um, her name is Kaylee Coleman, and that whole family is just absolutely, she's a daughter of CJ and Chan Coleman, these kids are just actually, every one of them are just absolutely remarkable. Kaylee received 26 awards. She is valedictorian of the class of 2023. She received, she was chosen for the Paul G. Award Scholarship. She was also chosen for the Bedford Lions Club Scholarship with many, many more. She was on Channel 5 for the best of her class. She is going to be attending uh, Kent State University and majoring in uh, early childhood education with a minor in theater. She's also worked in her pool. They are known for the kids that always won every one of the Halloween competitions. The mayor used to judge with me and it was always, as soon as they walk in, we'd go, oh, these other kids don't stand a chance. They were so imaginative. It was always something out of the world. Every one of these kids, she's involved in sports, she's involved in band, she's involved, well, she does spot soccer, something, but two or three different sports and stuff. She worked in her pool. Just amazing, amazing young lady. Has a voice like an angel. She also sings. Of course she does. Um, there's nothing that this young lady can't do. And I just want a big, a big uh, congratulations to CJ 
and Jan, what an amazing job you've done with all three kids. Um, Kaylee is very, I've known these kids for the last 16 years that I've been here. Just a remarkable family. They're very polite. There are so many other kids. Kudos to these students. Um, a lot of them were going through, you know, getting ready for senior year, their junior, you know, some of our stuff going through COVID, missed out on school. The kids that graduated last year, they didn't get to have their families there. They, get out there or they could have one or two, they couldn't have all of them. This year, it's going to be amazing. Big celebration. A lot of kids. Um, our school kind of gets slammed sometimes, but we've got great teachers, great kids. It's just, um, I'm very proud, very proud. And again, congratulations, uh, Kaylee, your family, and to the rest of the 2023 Bearcats. Good job, and I'll be there tomorrow night cheering on. End of report. Thank you. Oh, wait a minute, one more. Today, best for last, is our granddaughter's 13th birthday. So happy birthday, Parker Stewart. She's 13 today. <laughs> God, if I would have forgot that, I would have been the world's worst grandma. <laughs> End of report. Thank you. All right, let's get on to business then. Ordinance number 46-23. Authorizing the city manager <clears throat> to enter into a contract with Campo Residential and Commercial Exterior Exteriors to replace the roof above the kitchen at Ellenwood Recreation Center and declaring an emergency. I have a motion for suspension by Blue Hardy, second by Janudis. Call the roll, please. Janudis? Yes. Blue Hardy? Yes. Smith? Yes. Asbury? Yes. Saunders? Yes. Kochi? Yes. Thanks. Yes. Motion for third and final. By Smith, second by Saunders. Um, Mike. Thank you, Mayor. This is uh, to ordinances to replace the roof, authorize the replacement of the roof above the kitchen facility at the Ellenwood Center. Um, it is leaking substantially. We received two quotes. Uh, first quote was $26,450. The second quote from Campo Roofing was for $17,000. Our recommendation is to move forward with this uh, repair uh, so we can get that uh, addressed as soon as possible. We are looking at um, the gymnasium roof is also in need of replacement. Um, that project will have to get bid out and we're looking to uh, possibly do that later this year. Thank you. Call the roll, please. Janudis? Yes. Blue Hardy? Yes. Smith? Yes. Asbury? Yes. Saunders? Yes. Kochi? Yes. Sphinx? Yes. Ordinance number 47-23. Authorizing and ratifying a contract with National Pump and Process Inc. for repairs to the second tower influent pump at the wastewater treatment plant and declaring an emergency. Motion for suspension. Sphinx, second by Janudis. Call the roll, please. Janudis? Yes. Blue Hardy? Yes. Smith? Yes. Asbury? Yes. Saunders? Yes. Kochi? Yes. Sphinx? Yes. Motion for third and final by Saunders, second by Asbury. Mike? Yes, Mayor. At the end of last year, if you recall, we had two trickling filter influent uh, pumps fail at the wastewater treatment facility. We did repair the initial. Uh, pump. However, we are uh, in need of repairing the second. Uh, this will ensure that if the first one fails, we will not be down and non-compliant with the Ohio EPA. We received two quotes. Uh, grade 8 Solutions provided a quote of $24,654 and National Pump and Process quoted $20,645. Our recommendation is going uh, with National Pump and Process for the repair. Thank you. Call please. Nudis? Yes. Blue Hardy? Yes. Smith? Yes. Asbury? Yes. Saunders? Yes. Kochi? Yes. Sphinx? Yes. Ordinance number 48-23. An ordinance to levy assessments for the removal of litter at 201 West Glendale, permanent parcel number 8121601. Ohio during the year 2023 and declaring an emergency. I have a motion for suspension by Asbury. 
Secretary, second by Saunders. Call the roll, please. Janudis? Yes. Fluherty? Yes. Smith? Yes. Asbury? Yes. Saunders? Yes. Kochi? Yes. Spinks? Yes. Motion for third and final. By Fluherty, second by Spinks. Um, Mike? Thanks, Mayor. Uh, there was a property as identified in the ordinance, 201 uh, West Glendale. Um, to be frank, there was deb debris that was being collected. Uh, took over their entire backyard. Um, the city, um, that individual was, property owner was in court. Uh, it remained, it began encroaching on the sidewalk as well as into the public right of way, which then the city did take action and remove the debris. Uh, there was a cost from Kimball as there were three, uh, or I'm, excuse me, there were two 30 yard drop off dumpsters that were filled and a third. 12-yard dumpster that was filled. Kimball's charges to the city were uh, $1,515 as well, combined with the time of the city staff and personnel from the service department and the police department. The total cost um, is $3,509.21 um, to clean up that property, as well as the sidewalk right-of-way and street. Janudis? Yes. Blue Hardy? Yes. Smith? Yes. Gasbury? Yes. Saunders? Yes. Kochi? Yes. Spinks? Yes. John, do you want to make the motion for the uh, amendment we just did? Oh, we, I, think it's, I think it's all, we, it's good what we already did. I mean, I, I, we got a vote on it. Oh, I thought we did. I'm sorry. All right, so uh, we amended the agenda to consider this. this this motion, a motion to approve the recommendations of the Civil Service Commission of Bedford to amend Rule 5 entitled Examinations, Promotions, and Promotion, Probation, I'm sorry, Section 5.2 entitled Types and Methods of Examination, a copy of which will be attached to the, the minutes of this meeting and, and, and incorporated therein. Uh, can we get a motion to that effect? Motion by Asbury, second by Saunders. Call the roll, please. Janudis? Yes. Blue Hardy? Yes. Smith? Yes. Asbury? Yes. Saunders? Yes. Kochi? Yes. Spinks? Yes. And now we come to the hearing of citizens. If you wish to speak, please come forward, state your name, your address, and your comment. Hello, my name is Terry Stregarko. I live at 96 Tudor Avenue. I have two things that I would like to ask. Once we start doing Broadway, we haven't had this problem for a long time, but I can see these trucks parking down Green Crawl, Waterbury, and Flora, and Grand Boulevard. Are we going to just take it down, or are we giving them warnings? What are we going to do about that situation? Because it's, it's going to happen. <laughs> it's definitely going to happen. Yeah, we're going to be prepared for all types of things like that, especially parking all along this, but Mike, if you want to address that. Yeah. Are you referring to just regular uh, pedestrian vehicles? Or are you talking about large trucks? Large trucks. Yeah, we, those won't be permitted, like truck haulers and things like that. We're not going to allow those to be parked on those streets. So call us, uh, and PDO will respond accordingly. Now, my next question is, the house next door to me, I think it's 82 Tudor, I'm starting to see rats and raccoons and everything living in the garbage pile behind the house that keeps blowing into my yard. When can we do something about that? I, I believe that, I, I have to check, I think they're, I have to check the court docket. Okay. Yeah, because we've already sent them notices, compliance date, when that would be, if not addressed, it then goes through the court. Um, we have to take certain steps before we can actually remove, if it. It's take, remove it, take the house down, whatever that may be, but um, if there's raccoon issues and things, Immediately, rats, I, I will get in a rat go underneath the pile. So. I will get in touch with the uh, animal control, so we okay. can do that immediately. Um, and I'll have to check the uh, the docket and as far as building department, what those compliance dates were. And I'll share that with the council, your council person, and she can touch base. And tell him the raccoon is damn smart. He hasn't gotten in my trap. It seems I'm turning it over. He's so big. He's big.
fun time I was driving. And this is regard to that um, main sewer under my street. And I do appreciate you, Mr. Mallis and Mr. Flurry, coming out to see me this past winter. And um, I just wonder if there's any updates on my situation. I know you did assure me that I would get a backflow preventer and a um, clean out near the sidewalk and a check of the main sewer so that doesn't happen again. As you know, it's, it's happened about twice in the past 10 years. I had the propensity to come into my basement, raw sewage, lots of water. Well, that definitely is on our regular maintenance. So that's identified for regular maintenance to ensure that there isn't block ups and things like that. And then we'll be in touch as far as, I'll, I'll reach out to you sometime this week as far as um, a potential clean out there. Okay, great. Thank you. Thank you. Seeing none, can I have a motion for adjournment? By Saunders, second by Asbury. Or roll, please. Tanudis? Yes. Blue Hardy? Yes. Smith? Yes. Asbury? Yes. Saunders? Yes. Kochi? Yes. Thanks. Thank you for being here and thank you for watching at home.